Welcome to a DMS Chats, and we're here with my man Rocco. Welcome to it, brother. Welcome to DMS Thank Chats. You so much. Thank it's you. going to be amazing, man. 2020, just so many talented people, and Rocco is one of them. And one of the sessions that he's going to be doing is um, about the programs, the plugins that he uses, and stuff like that. I mean, Rocco, I'm sure you've got a specific program that you use. Maybe you just run through it a bit. You know, let people know what you're using. And he's going to be doing a lot of showing. He's actually going to physically show his favorite plugin and how it changes its sound and so forth but just tell us roughly what are you using you know when you actually um now for for many years i'm using reason mm -hmm. especially the latest version is very strong i heard many people were saying at the beginning that the program was not strong enough it was just a plugin at the beginning so 20 years ago i was using it like a plugin with cubase because i still love cubase and um, and because it looks familiar from reason for me uh -huh. but anyway this time i'm using 100 percent reason only mm -hmm. and uh i'm so he's so he's yes mm -hmm. <laughs> to, to use that program that uh, now i do everything inside i do my kicks my uh, my bass line my synths i there is a really nice uh mixer it looks like ssl Mm -hmm. mixer you know that well, yeah, yeah. it's uh, amazing yeah and uh connected to my sound card the uad one uh -huh. with nice speakers mm -hmm. i i'm using the yamaha okay the 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 big ones okay. a chase uh, eight or five i thought i will check anyway and um it comes with nice plugins with nice compressor mm -hmm. i use uh in different uh, different way if it's uh i want to do heavy tracks i'm going to use that kind of Compressor. Mm -hmm. If I want to go more soulful, it's gonna be another one. Mm -hmm. Also, anyway, reason you have nice reverb, delay. Mm -hmm. You know what they did? Mm -hmm. It's amazing. They uh, they recreate analog plugins sounds. Yes, from the delay. Mm -hmm. You know, when in the past they used to do uh, they use a delay for the reggae. Yeah, yeah. So we have the same plugins called Echo. Okay. It's amazing. I yeah. use it. I use it a lot. Okay. And uh, yeah, reason is good, especially for people they want to do music because yeah. you need one laptop, mm -hmm. one good sound card, of course your motivation, your ideas, whatever, and everything is in, is there. Mm. So it's pretty much self-made. You know, it's easy. You've got your little laptop, you've got all your little sound card, you've got your speakers, and that is it. Exactly. I it's, think that's... That, it, it's good enough to start something. Yeah, that's what we want to show at, 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 at the conference, the fact that with what you have, if you use it at your best of your ability, you know, you can make things happen. Sometimes we always think of these big rooms and big things, and it's not that. It's how you use what you have. And also, importantly, let's go into the mastering. You know, once you've mixed your track, you know, I know at one stage you told me that you were trying your own mastering, but... Tell me more about the mastering side when you finish mixing and stuff like that. You know, uh, I I do uh, before uh, when I finish a track. Sorry, I'm there. <laughs> when I finish a track, I do a pre mastering. It's just uh, to improve my track in clubs first. Uh -huh. But it's not a proper mastering because mastering it's a real it's another job. It's a real job. Mm. There is some good professional who's doing strong mastering. Yeah, and it makes a big difference uh, on the final release of your track. Mm -hmm. And what I do, uh, for example, when I when I'm doing a remix for Defected Record, which mm -hmm. which is one of the biggest label in Europe, mm -hmm. they have their own mastering service, mm -hmm. which I let them do their mastering. Mm -hmm. Of course, they ask me to listen if I agree if with you're the happy with it, yeah. if I'm happy with the final uh, issue. I say yes, or sometimes I ask them to change a little bit mm -hmm. stuff on the EQ, whatever. And when I'm releasing on my label and uh, I want that uh, track sounds like I want, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I use a jazz, mm -hmm. which is very good for all the soulful, afro, deep stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, a jazz is, uh, yeah, he's got power. is the man. Yeah. And uh, I'm also using uh, 
some German uh, mastering service. Mm -hmm. When I'm doing tracks more like, uh, for example, let's say, someday TBT3. The, te the techie stuff. More deep tech, big room. Yes, big, big room, room music. Stuff. Because uh, I, I, I know that people, they have the knowledge of that kind of music. Mm -hmm. So why not use using people that they know what they do? Yeah, of course. So I use different two or three different mastering service. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's very important when you are doing music. Yeah. Because it's also a kind of ID mm -hmm. of your sound. Yes. So and you have a signature sound. You can hear a signature song. sound. Exactly. You so, know. And uh, which, what is good with these people I'm working with for the mastering, mm -hmm. they understand my music. Mm -hmm. And someone that understands your music, it's... 90% of the, the work already already done. done. It's easy. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, you as producer have to also to do a good mix down. Of course. So is what we're going to share all together on the session very soon in yeah. March. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, I think that's it for today. You know, we don't want to give up too much away. Don't forget yes. to get your tickets. DMS 2020. Don't forget, you can only see this all live when you get your tickets. Make sure you're there. March 2020, DMS. See you there.